Don't let them see us, precious. They'll find us. They'll see us. <laughs> Creature is lost. Well, let's see how he responds to some light. Someone tortured him long before the Dunadan found him. The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Believe us. I want to hear what he has to say. All they says, all lands and mountains, he might see by him. Not him, not him. Don't speak to him. Don't listen.
brought you to him, didn't they? The Dark Lord. What did you tell him? What did you tell Sauron? Nask. The ring. Nask. What did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. We swear. We swear. Don't tell them, precious. Baggins took him. Baggins from the Shire. So he knows. Shut up! 
Slugovisil, Gulsug. <laughs> Please, we don't understand. This way. They want me to keep an eye on you. Their newest scheme to humiliate me, I suppose. Next, the mines. Dry, dry, dry! Snaggle up, move! Sneagle doesn't know. Doesn't know the words, does he? No. And what does a good slave do? Huh? A good slave that doesn't know the words? He learns. Maybe you should run, little slave. We want to be done before the third horn, don't we? What are you looking at? The bridge? The gate? Ah, oh, yes. That beautiful gate. Leads straight out of Lugborz, they say. There it is. Opening to the chime of a bell. A cunning invitation. Huh? Huh? Who lives in the tower? The master of the Black Pits. A sorcerer. But the orcs just call him Candleman. Candleman? Maybe they think it's him whose light burns in the tower. Alas, there is only one way into the Tower of Light. The one that our sick friend Darimon took today. He lost his hope long before he lost his life. As most of us do. Before that, however, he tried to find plans for the tower. He was obsessed with it. A great collection of maps, he told me. Stored somewhere in the halls of Grond. In a building made of steel. Halls of Grond? I could show you the way, if you want to see for yourself. Don't listen, maggot. No brains left in that old scrag. He's been down here too long. This one tried to skip work. Ah. Rain was tampered with too. Snar is looking into it. Cut him open. No, wasn't us. Look at us. We're famished. Down to the lakes with him. See how he likes deserting then. <laughs> lakes? Yes. Our fiery lakes. A bunch of slaves didn't report back yesterday. I want all missing numbers by the time they sound the horn. No, please. No lakes, no fire. Look how big his eyes got. like a scabbed lizard. And I've seen him climb like one. And small as a child. He will never make it to the bridge. Listen. The orcs want you dead. They want all of us dead. Let's end this, shall we? No more heat. No more ashes. What say you? My king, we have to move. What say you? No more heat. No more ashes. He cannot make that climb. This is madness. Orcs. My king, we cannot linger. You remember the red stones, yes? Here's all I need you to do. Climb up to that creaking bridge. My king! Fight, or keep eating dirt. It's your choice. But we are going. Creaking bridge! Just listen, just climb up. Up, as high as you can. There's a storage room with many barrels. 
One of them should have a black mark. Up to the creaking bridge. He's nothing but skin and bones. He can't do it. He can. You can do this. You know the drill. Take a stone, put it in the barrel, run. Get up. Let's show those vermin who I am. Is that what your silence is supposed to tell me? Not one of you has seen anything. Heard anything. Done anything. No one, except for this one. No, not us. Yes. You. Whoever finishes first gets his bread. Everyone else, well, none of you will be eager to meet the Candleman. Shall we then? The tunnel leads out of the tower, yes? Yeah, good luck. Say you get to the carts, then what? We check every crate, we will find you. A cart driver, that's what you want. Someone really dumb who's in on your dumb plan. Is he a car driver? <laughs> no. And you could die without my help. From the execution chamber into the sewers. But how do we get there? What's this bird mean? Some birdhouse that leads to the chamber. What's he like? The sorcerer in the tower? Like someone who rips your heart out with his iron claw. But first he will ask you some riddle. And if you don't know the answer, too bad. Maybe the tower isn't the only way out. You maggot brain. There is no way out. I am looking at this one in particular. The little one? What about him? My father wonders what's inside this unshapely head, and now I wonder too. Do Take him to the tower. You can't. I can't? You can't. He's useful, and I am going to keep him. Perhaps we should have a look inside your head, Beastmaster. Clearly something vital is missing in there. Balrat, take that slave upstairs. about the last king. Long time ago, in the Willowlands, when 
the river was young. Tall king with bright eyes. He lived in a white city with silver towers. And in it, there was a stone like the moon. Many a hundred years he ruled. Very just. Very just. Yes, that's how it's commonly told. Tell me how it ends. Witch King took him, and he was never seen again. And he was never seen again. Show me. to do. Put it in the cage. No, no, let me explain how the... Oh! Shut up, rush <laughs> Here they come. Which one is he? The fat one. You! Number! My! Your number! 10, 60, 92, 21. That's the one. Huh? You! Come with us! Why? Krasnik has done nothing wrong, we swears. Just a couple of questions. Nothing to worry about.
Take him now. So you killed him? Never! He was our friend! Cruel light! It hurts our eyes! Your only friend, I would imagine. What was his name? Uh, Deagle! Deagle! And it was Deagle who found the no, ring? No, it was ours. It was our birthday present. It was... Another lie. <sighs> Old man must be careful. We have friends now. Strong friends, powerful friends, and they will not be nice like us, not nice. I have not traveled these many miles to listen to your lies. <sighs> Look into the flame. Ah, no, no cruel spirit, it hurts us. Ah. We didn't kill him, my precious. He was our friend. It wasn't us, precious, not us. Oh no.
Lies, fool! That's when you murdered him. Right there by the river, in the flower beds. You killed your friend. Uh, don't listen, my love. He found your precious ring, and so you strangled him. It was our birthday. Of course there were flowers. You strangled him and left his body there in the slough. No, no, not us. Baggins, Baggins has it. He stole it. Our present, our precious. It was ours, and he took it, and he lied. Oh, what have we got in our pockets, is he asks. That's a cheat. Yes, sweet one, we will squeeze its filthy little neck. Oh, man can watch. Oh, oh. <coughs> we want silence. We're done. We are. Close the door. What did he say? Too much about too little. No ropes, see? Cruel elves! Let wizard hurt our eyes! It hurts! That's why we bit the nice elf. But Smeagol would be good now. Swear it. Swear not to harm anyone in these halls. We swears Smeagol will be very good. Nice elves will see. Yes, we will. We see everything. See that shifting wall of mist in the distance, above the last line of trees? We call it the Ring of Haze. Haze. A haze so dense you can't see five paces ahead, tricking your mind like a twisted, willful mirror until you're utterly lost. And sooner or later, no matter how hard you try or how far you walk, all paths will lead you back to us, for none can leave or enter our realm without permission. So, as it stands, we must suffer each other's company for a while. Gandalf the Grey convinced our king to let you linger in his halls, which you are now about to see. Come. Bird! Bird! Bird must find help! Elves have caught us! Terrible spirits! Bird must find someone. Someone fast. Go. Go. Is it home, the strange elf? We hear it creep. You're the prisoner. The one who talks funny. No, he doesn't. And smells funny. What was your name? Smeagol. Smeagol. <laughs> Odd name. She's odd. So everyone keeps telling me. A deal, then. We leave each other alone, and we shall relish our solitude and noble oddity. What say you? Deal! She's odd, and we don't like her. Oh, you scared me. The precious, is it tasty? You're hungry, hmm? Nice, friendly elves letting Smeagol walk their beautiful halls. And why can't the blind one walk free like us, sweet wonders? Yes, poor girl. She was part of Gwendol's circle. The Riddle Master. Our most brilliant mind. He and his scholars tried to protect our realm with spells, but the Mirkwood devoured them all. Mel was the only one who returned, blinded and confused but alive. Whatever darkness touched her, she did not know or would not tell. She blamed herself for the fate of her friends. The king himself bound her to the cave, secured it with a spell to seal away the darkness. Maybe you can take her food sometimes. The children keep stealing her meals. Take whatever you like, just put it on the table by her window. But don't talk to her. Say something. Who saw Gwendol? 
Oh, they wouldn't tell Good Smeagol, would they? The very nice elves. They wouldn't tell us their names. No, not us. But we hear, we hear them whisper. The Riddle Master has been seen, yes, out in the woods. Beyond the terrible haze, if one can trust the elves. Beyond? Good Smeagol would help, of course he would. Help the poor blind elf. But we cannot leave through the mist. The elves said so. Difficult, yes. And if there were a way through the haze, then what would you do? Mm, if we could, my love. Fair question. If there was a way, of course, yes, of course, then we could help her find her friend, the Riddle Master. <laughs> Thank you for the wine, Smeagol. I have my own gift for you today. The snail shell on my table. Put it in your mouth. The snail house? Why? You still haven't found the missing bell. Or have you? Smeagol tried. No silver bell. Not anywhere. You haven't looked in the king's chambers like I told you. Too many eyes. Cruel, shining eyes. Always watching. Good for them. Take the shell. Don't worry, there's only water inside. The silver bell, it breaks the curse that keeps her in the dark. You must always ask three times, yes? A custom of your tribe, the people of the Sizzling Hills. We're not from Sizzling Hills. There's one bell missing in the door. Put it back in place and the spell is broken. And the blind one can leave? You help me, I help you, as promised. Why does Smeagol need to drink? They warned you about me, didn't they? I must know that you trust me. Drink. It's merely water. Are you still there? <laughs> Make it leave. Calm down. Calm down. Make it leave. Calm down and listen. And listen. No secret. No danger. Shh. There are elves up here. And all they hear is you shushing yourself. Now listen. High above the Queen's waterfalls is a cave with hundreds, with hundreds of lights. Of we call it the Glittering Grotto. Can you see it? The Queen once dreamed of a water road full of stars, connecting the waterfalls with her chains. She did not live to see it through. However, the grotto still leads right to the King's doorsteps. But the elves won't let us go up there. So many rules. But we don't care about rules, do we? I will be there with you in the water. There's going to be a lot of water. Now free the she-elf and get it out, out of our head. First, we must get out of these rooms. We found the king's rooms. See, Not a nice place, I believed in you. You're like no, Beren, stealing the gems from the enemy's crown. Though, I know Luffy and Beren had a pleasant voice. Open your eyes. Enjoy Come back down here. Beautiful ceiling. I hear it is a marvel. What's going on? What's going on? Therefore, I tell you, I don't know. <sighs> and what I don't know, I cannot tell. I know you well enough to doubt that, my old friend. My king, if you knew me well enough, you would never doubt me. Well, let's just see. Lamon! No! What's it doing? Shh! Mel? He was right here, tried to open my door. Are you sure it was him? Unless a squirrel called himself my precious. Where'd he go? Let me think. Did I see him? Oh, alas, I am blind. Down to the river! <laughs> Smeagol, my friend, we've made it. Frank. Come.
come. Let us follow the sun. won't get anything from him. Torture barely made him talk, and the elves have no heart for torture. Thy confidence could be mistimed, dear friend. The old Greybeard has entered the woodland realm no more than two weeks ago. The wizard? How do you know? <laughs> they may call us the mouth of Sauron, but we do have eyes and ears. The Grey Beggar might suspect something. Join Marhok's men in Dol Guldur. Free the creature. Bring it back. Kill it, if need be. This is a death sentence. Only if one dies. We'll strike in Gondor as well. Provide a diversion. An open attack? There will be war. It's too soon. Let the enemy find what our Lord desires. And the war will end too soon as well. Thy daughter will join thee. Seize this opportunity. All I wish for thee is to redeem thyself. Filthy woods, very selflessly, yes. Take our hands. Who did you say, Sir Gwendol? <laughs> Grimaces are wasted on me, you know. Yes, some elf. Some elf. Some elf did. All look the same to us. Poor elf. No shining eyes. Take Smeagol's hand. What's this? Uh, precious? Eh? Hey, what is it? And are you looking at my ring? Is it nice? Yes? Is it powerful? Is it precious? <laughs> uh, the truthlings will lull your thoughts. Let tongue speak true, whether you like it or not. Take a bite of Laire, however, like this. Then their spell is gone, and so is most of their marvel. So the real question is, do you trust me? <laughs> oh, there we go. Pity you can't hear the bells high up in the tower. Can you see the moon? Don't fear. The white face will not find her. But I wish to be found. What's her shape now? Mill must be hungry. Perhaps could Smeagol find some eggs? Is it waxing? It can't be full yet. <laughs> no. No nice moon. Another one. Very well. This one's easy. You look like me, I can't deny. If you don't look, neither do I. 
No time for stupid riddles. You asked for another one. Weren't you about to find some food? Thank you. No mushrooms. I never liked their smell. <laughs> Melly's not nice. Smeagol looked everywhere. His hand stinks of leaves. God, they stinks. Why did you eat the Lyrell? Why? Because she ate first. And why did she, eh? We wonders. Why did she eat from the rootsies? Shh. There's something up there. We knows that voice. Nice bird. Has it looked for help? I don't like the sound of this one. It speaks a strange tongue. Because we taught him, didn't we, my precious? Shh. That when you have the word. She scared him. There is something foul about that bird. Where is foul? We will go sleep inside. The elf can stay and watch the moon. <sighs> All right. in the air. A voice guided me. I think it was Gwendol. In fact, I'm sure of it. Gwendol? I believe somehow he saw me. Protected me. Come, the gate is not far now. Let me think. Gwendol stood here. I was back at the river. The others stood at the six runestones. Each runestone guards one part of the spell. Air, water, circle, binding, mirror, deceit. To be called in the right order. If I could only remember who stood at which stone. Why does it bring us here if it can't remember most important things? Shh. What is it? The air. It still carries their voices. Don't you hear them? Voices? Close your eyes. Here. Oh, well. We had almost done it. A haze that would forever hide our realm from the eyes of the Mirkwood. But there was one last breach left for us to close, here, at the Enchanted River. And so we did. We all had our part to play. Mine was to calm the river and win her over. But I didn't trust the water. I warned Gwyndil, but he wouldn't listen. We closed the breach, but then... All I remember is a glaring light, fair like silk, but unrelenting. When I woke up, there was only darkness and silence. I called their names, called Gwendal, but there was nothing. So you see, I need to find Gwendal. I must. Oh, let me rest here for a while. <laughs> Tired it looks, yes. Tired and spent. Of course, we can wait. Pity I don't have my eyes now. We can be her eyes. Picture beautiful gardens for her. Then she will see. Yes, she will see. Picture the flowers for me. Irises. The entire glade used to be overgrown with them. They must be in full bloom now. Yes. Beds of irises, so nice. All swallowed by mist, holding them in their cliff. Yes, now it sees. Now it sees. <laughs> I resist. I resist. Time is not 
spent. Iris, Iris has no scent. You are mad. He goes riddle. We remember. I remember. There was irises everywhere. Yellow ones like here, and they light deagle and look up into the sky. <sighs> no. No, no, wake up! He tried to steal it. Tried to get away with our precious. But we didn't let him, did we? No. Riddle Master. I cannot hear you. Just listen then, listen carefully. Please let her hear me. It's in the water. I feel it now. The enemy's treachery. You were right. Of course you were right. I have bound my mind to the source. What's left of it anyway? I'm so, so tired. I have been trying to send you my dreams through the haze, but they are dark dreams now. I need you here. The enemy has come. Find me. Come to caress Mindon. They can't cross the haze yet, but I need to seal the gate. Oh, let me think. I cannot think. The picture, the one we carved into the bark where we first met, remember? That shall be the password for the gate. Find me. Come to the source. It will be dangerous, but I am lost without you. What gate? Where? How can we get through the haze? The elf must tell us. Who are you? Who are you? What is it? It's a deer. Deer with horns. We need the elvish word. What's the elvish word for deer? We can ask the elves later. Perhaps we seize the mountains from up here. that fate is on my side today. must swear, swear to let us leave and not follow us ever. Very well. Swear it. 
Yes, I swear. The sooner you're gone, the better. Come on. There are a lot of stairs to climb. Blinded me. <sighs> He's with us. The entire hall is screaming. It's being torn apart. Above the well, the blazing orb fueled by wind and water. That is the source of the haze. What's our plan? Destroy the source. No. I fear the haze is all that holds this hall together. But if we could somehow reach the well, we could try to heal it. <laughs> but the elf said, don't go near the well. There are two wind towers that feed the haze with air and music. See those openings left and right. If we manage to close off both towers, we might calm the haze just enough. It will not be easy, though. We promise to help the elves if they help us in return. I don't know. There's no time for doubts now. I can't go, you know that. I will stay at the source, calm it as long as I can. You two divide the tasks and close off the towers. Only one question left to answer. Where does the sun go up? Where does he linger? What does a storm illume with glistening rage? The night.
Gwendol. Very happy ending. Yes. Now time for promise keeping. We did not forget. You kept your word, we will keep ours. The elves will let us go? You are free. Leave if you must. Or come back with us. They will go to their king now. He must know what happened. The elves of Mirkwood can no longer hide. War is upon us, and no haze will protect us now. You may have awakened us just in time. Yes. Very lucky they met good Smeagol. But it's a long way home, and the kind elves must be tired. Perhaps they want to rest first. Let Smeagol keep one last watch. Sweet one. And under the mountains. And then into the Shire. Precious as ours again, then they all has to be friendly, don't they, my precious? Very polite to good old Smeagol. We will make them, make them crawl! <sighs>
I've had enough of your mouth, bruise. So now I'm gonna kill you. For all these orcs to see. Always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. Come on, then. Never can have too many heads. <laughs> That was quite Tickle, maybe, but you're gonna need more than that to take me down. Spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart. Which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron, and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? for ring wraiths you're too late but before i engaged him he was speaking to an orc who was 
different than the others. There are worms nearby. Perhaps they can tell us what is going on. If we take them alive. You don't decide whom I let live, Ringmaker. You'd both do well to remember that. What is the purpose of the Chosen? Secure the idea! It's something to do with the Sea and Stone! That's all I know! to create the Chosen. Where is it performed? No one knows. When a captain's selected, the Shriekers send a worm to tell him where to go. We must tell Altaria what we know. This need not concern her. We have our mission and she has hers. Her mission is the destruction of the enemy that tracks us. The more information we share, the better. Dirty score! 
Were your messengers forthcoming? The Witch King is using the Hydea to track the ring. They extend the Palantir's reach. Orcs called the Chosen guard them. And the enemy may hold the Palantir, but the Hydea themselves are vulnerable. So, we know their design. And now we dismantle it. I just hear something. <laughs> you like that? Taste my blade! Try to resist us, even here. Let them resist. Something just moved over there. Stop! Squirrel. I'm getting famous like the Grey Walker himself. Now let's give him something to talk about.
He's a man. He's a step not hurt. <laughs>
told that elf assassin and anyone. I know where he hides. I know what he's... <laughs> Causing havoc and mayhem! Better not be a stinking dwarf! Skip right to the execution. You think you're going to take our land for yourself? Strip it of its riches like some tunnel dusted dwarf? I bet you're working with the dwarves. I've dedicated my life to killing their kind. And any friend of theirs is an enemy of mine! Oh, <laughs> 
Let me find him! 